Hi guys, my name is uh, Sam Mal. Uh, I'm the director for Sapsol Technologies. Uh, uh, we have operations in Canada, uh, which is Ontario, uh, Toronto. Uh, we also operate in Santa Clara, California, and we have operations back office in India. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the development on S4 HANA Cloud. Uh, so traditionally, we guys have seen that typically SAP uh, start with a, a tier two system, which was called R2. They move on to the three tier system, which was database applications and the uh, graphical user interface. And, uh, you know, that three tier system continued till uh, late uh, 2019. I think pre-pandemic was the one which uh, we last saw uh, the three tier system continue. And it comprised of, uh, you know, a typical SAP system landscape, which had ECC, what we call an enterprise central component on, uh, you know, the standard SAP system, uh, which had development QA and production server with the pre-prod thrown in, depending on uh, what kind of benchmarks you, you want, might want, uh, you know, depending on the client's requirement. We had uh, all-in-one server, typically, and even when we moved to the S4 HANA database, it was called ECC on S4 HANA uh, and started with on-premises, uh, which is in-memory computing columnar database uh, with computation engine built in, which made it much, much faster. But the, the landscape did not really drastically change. Uh, we had the same control, the same level of function, the same admin uh, controls, the same security policies, uh, the same enterprise structure, what we call as, and then the master data transactional data as well as integration functions were typically uh, similar or same uh, for last, I would say, close to 30 years. Now, SAP moved to business by design a uh, few years back and they got S4 HANA, so they combined both of them now into what we call as the S4 HANA cloud solution. And in the S4 HANA cloud, we have the private cloud and the public cloud. Now the private cloud is uh, a tenant where you get full control on the administrative uh, areas. However, there's still restriction at the OS, uh, the database level, uh, as well as uh, the firmware that they might be using to update uh, the application. On the S4 HANA, Public cloud, uh, you typically get three system landscape, which is, uh, you know, you get the uh, authentication services uh, uh, cloud uh, uh, instance. You also get the central business configuration instance, which is called CVC. And then you get what we call the S4 HANA uh, tenant, which is uh, typically the old legacy system lookalike, but with a lot, lot of graphical interface. They've got the SAP business by design front end. Uh, they have the tile-based concept of easy user access or easy access, we call, and they have the IMG guide. So that's been uh, the story so far. Uh, it has drastically changed the way SAP operates and looks at the system is much easier. They have taken a lot of T codes away. They have taken tables away. Uh, a lot of the old ways of doing has changed. So it's kind of a must-have uh, configuration that we might need in future, right? So I would I would uh, expect you guys to kind of look at uh, you know the new system and get on to speed with the new technology areas on the cloud. Uh, the FICO, which is the core module, the materials management or the supply chain, the production planning, the sales and distribution, the project system, the HCM module, uh, literally behave the same once you come to the cloud, but in terms of the CBC, which has obviously got uh, the three phase uh, implementation, which is scoping out structure, and, and then the component level, which is the activity type specific to the business uh, areas that you might want to configure. And when you click on it, it actually has a linkage to the S4 on our tenant cloud, which takes you to the old SPRO area. I would recommend strongly to get into the S4 HANA cloud for those who want to kind of make a career in SAP uh, and those who are in the old system and uh, want to move on to the new technology areas. So uh, please reach out to uh, our account managers and our PA, uh, the project and placement consultant team. Uh, you can also email us at info at uh, sapsol.com. Uh, you can also uh, 
call us on 905-507-8200 uh, uh, right in, in Canada, as well as you can re visit our site, www.sapsol.com, sapsol.com. And we'll be happy to transition you from the older system into the new uh, kind of uh, cloud solutions, which is expected to grow uh, multifold in the next five years. And uh, as you see, most of the companies moving there, uh, it's a must have technology. It's not like nice to have, it's something that you need to learn today. Uh, look forward to speak to you guys and please reach out to our account managers. Thank you.